In the Palace of Memories, the pool of red within the crater adds another dimension to the switch between animal, vegetable, and mineral. Meanwhile, against the curtain itself, hovering in the foreground, is a bunch of blue flowers which reminds us of some heraldic motif. This picture was formerly owned by Simon Harcourt Smith, a diplomat and author whose father, Sir Cecil, had been the first director of the Victoria and Albert Museum, London, as well as a key advisor to the Royal Collection. The Palace of Memories was painted in 1939, and as such appears to be the first of a string of works in which Magritte explored the theme of the landscape behind a theatre curtain. This had been the case in the poetic world, a work from the 1920s which Magritte had revisited, creating a new version for Edward James in 1937. Certainly, in 1940, he would return to the stage curtain device in The Beauty of Night, in which a landscape reminiscent of the flatter parts of Belgium or of Holland is shown, allowing the sky to dominate the composition. Another oil from the same year, L.E. Spectacle de la Nature, shows another country seen beyond the curtain, two trees in a lush, verdant prairie, that picture is now in the Pinacothector Moderne, Munich, where it forms part of the Theo Wormland collection. In that picture, in place of the flowers in the Palace of Memories floats a solitary leaf. This was a momentous turning point in the life of Magritte and in the history of much of the world as well, as it marked the beginning of the Second World War. The Palace of Memories may thus date from after the declaration of war, yet before the invasion of Belgium and its subsequent occupation, which began in May the following year. The Second World War would come to inspire Magritte to negotiate new means of representing his surreal vision, he sought to respond to the conflict in a number of ways, often expunging any overbearing sense of the psychological oppression that was so naturally caused by it. In the Palace of Memories, by contrast, the somber tone of the landscape underneath the curtain may hint at his own anxieties. At the same time, the theatrical posturing of the various nations may have helped to inspire the theatrical theme. In the Palace of Memories, the fact that the curtain implies some infinite theater hints at a new way of looking at life itself. In those pictures, Magritte reintroduced the theme of the nude which he had explored in his earlier painting, Black Magic, but added this curtain element, playing with the various implied textures of the elements depicted. Magritte appears to have used the curtain device again and again after introducing it in the Palace of Memories. In it, he had found a means of adding a level of dialogue concerning the entire nature of art, of representation, and of painting. By creating a perspectival landscape of seemingly colossal proportions in the background, with the curtain in the foreground, Magritte is deliberately bringing our attention to the entire process of imitation that underpins the act of painting itself. And the flowers floating in the foreground add a garnish, a flash of flare, that both emphasizes and finalizes this process of revelation.